climbing the Swedish mountains is both magically beautiful and fantastic. In April, the sun shines a few extra hours at these latitudes and makes the days extra long and a little warmer than normal. A perfect time for snowmobiling. My name is Anders Jorolf and I am a photographer. To get to these wonderful places high up in northern Sweden, you first need to take a flight from Stockholm to a city called Kiruna. From Kiruna, you rent a car that is spacious and preferably four-wheel drive. It is easy to find at these latitudes as there are not that many roads. After packing everything into the cars, it takes off from Kiruna up towards Abisko, Björkleiden, and Riksgränsen. The journey goes over snow-covered landscapes and is incredibly beautiful. The actual travel time is about 90 minutes by car from Kiruna. In Björk Leiden, you can stay at the hotel or in cabins that can be rented, which can accommodate four or six people. The cabins have their own sauna, which is nice after a snowmobile ride in the mountains. Getting on the snowmobile and being able to drive away is a completely magical feeling. And in these regions where the differences in elevation are so great, it is extra beautiful and very magical. The first part of our journey goes via the snowmobile trail up to the mountain station where waffles are served. Coffee, tea, and hot chocolate. Different people from pretty much all over the world gather here. Those who go beyond board ordinary skis or snowmobile skiers. Everyone hangs out and talks to each other. The atmosphere is warm and very generous. It is always good to update yourself on today's weather at the mountain station so that you are not surprised on the mountain. After a lovely waffle, it's time to go. Down in the valleys and up over the heights on pure fresh snow where no one before me has gone before. The view is magnificent and we are at approximately 1,250 meters above sea level. Riding in these areas where the snow covers the entire landscape is magical and very quiet. It's incredibly generous areas to snowmobile and there's really nothing that can stop me from exploring new areas. Of course, I have to make sure to be careful. The heights and cliffs here are treacherous and it is relatively easy to expose yourself to avalanches. But if you use your judgment and take it easy, you'll do really well. The weather can change incredibly quickly at these latitudes. From bright sun to foggy weather with heavy snowfall, it can take 15, 30 minutes, and with a phone signal that doesn't work, you put yourself in great danger if you don't know where you are. It is preferable to have a portable GPS with you, as well as extra clothes and a lunch bag if you are caught in a storm and cannot get back in time. For me, who loves to drive technically challenging snowmobiling in deep, fresh snow, this is a great place to be. But going here alone is out of the question. Here, you have to be several snowmobilers if something happens and that something will happen is almost certain. Bringing camera equipment is necessary. Everywhere you turn, you get very nice pictures. To stand on top of these mountains and look out over both Norway and Sweden's highest mountain, Kebnekaise and its mountain massif is magically beautiful and very, very grand. I must say that this landscape appeals to me despite its barrenness and lack of life. Once down at the cabin in Björkleiden, it's time for good food and a sauna. A good start to a nice evening where the northern lights start as early as nine o'clock in the evening and last all night. Weather permitting, of course. <laughs>